What's up everyone, welcome back to my Quantum Break Let's Play. We are now on Act 2 Part 2 called Ground Zero. And last part, we escaped captivity. We, you know, ran through the facility, shot some dudes up, killed a lot of people. And now we are looking for Paul Serene to, you know, figure this whole thing out, to ask questions, to know what's going on. Uh, Beth wants to fix the fracture in time. But, you know, we have our eyes set on this guy because he is clearly from the future. Like, what what the what the fuck is going on? So, you know, uh, yesterday got a nice amount of views, got a nice, a nice reception from you guys. Uh, I'm looking to get at least, you know, 20 views per video because it, you know, helps me, helps me get that confidence to keep on doing things because we have some people watching. Like, I'm not after the, the thousands or the... You know the hundred thousands or you know the hundreds even I don't care about that right now I'm looking to build myself up build this channel up with my friends and you know have a lot of fun because this is what this is about let's continue and you know while this is loading um, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed We've hit around 22 subscribers now, and maybe if we hit around 50, we we could do like a, a reveal video, do a Q&A video of every of every of the uh, of every member of Dead Fruit. Sorry, just stuttered a bit when it's loaded. I think. All right, Jack? get to Serene at the dry yeah. docks. CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Alright, yeah, so... <clears throat> here we are. Playing this Jack Joyce, my boy. My boy Iceman. Oh. Repeatedly tap X until completion. Okay, so what we got here? Nothing special, it seems. Is this ammo? Okay, uh, I already have ammo. Sophia Amaral. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Yeah, probably. Oh, a new pistol. Let's try this. Burst fire. It's probably a three round burst pistol. Anything else? So if I shoot at this, it's going to freeze. Well, shit, it's going to cause a stutter in time. Let's try it out. Let's shoot this one. This is the nearest one. Is it doing as promised? No clue. Anyway. Oh shit. I. What is it supposed to be doing? That's the question. Uh, die, please. Okay, so do you reckon I should probably... No, bad. Can I, can I use melee attacks? Wait, I don't think I can because I probably did try. I 
Advanced SMG. Okay. Oh, it's got little to no recoil. It's nice. Who's shooting at me? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. Dude, please. I, I kind of screwed up really badly then. Thanks for the heads up. What do you mean, thanks for the heads up? Plus, my accuracy was really bad uh, <laughs> at that moment. Okay, this drops down, but does it help? Not really. Hmm. Mm. Is there something to do with this? Wow, I really need to sort out. <laughs> I really need to sort out what I'm shooting at. Send in a quick email to make sure that all divisions of the Cronon R and D department are on schedule. As you know, Monica will be moving to Phase Three on October 9th upon completion of the university operation. So this is from Sophia Amaral. What's this? No clear exit down here. May have to head oh, okay, okay, yeah, I get it. All right, so I just gotta jump up, take me upstairs, buddy, and there you go. Cool. Is there anything down here? Doesn't seem like it. Let's go back up. And go across. Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnik is hosting tonight. Tonight? After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech, and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question. Why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. This was mentioned in the the episode of the TV show, where that dude got friends on so hard, buddy. Okay, this is the exit. Uh, we're from here. Okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? It's somewhere. Okay. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Looks like the trailer has power now. Okay. Trailer generator crapped itself. Hooked up the car. Used that until maintenance gets around to this. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car. Dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but. His phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. With most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. 
Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. So basically, I think um, Ogawa is the chick that Jack was speaking to in the beginning of the game. So I think we do end up getting captured. Oh my god, I swear to god. Avenge me. Amy. Okay. You okay up there? Shit. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting read later on. <laughs> Alright, so which way? This way. But Oh yeah, I was just here. Let's go down this. Let's go out through here, and then, what's going on? Um, okay, Koki, I think this door needs a shove. It's locked. No, it doesn't. Gotta be another way to get through. I need another way in. Nope. Explosions, maybe? Aha! Explosions always do the trick, you know? These back up. No, no. <laughs> oh shit! I had no clue. Okay. Um. Ladder. Let's get ready to fuck some people up. You're all gonna die, bitches. In before I, I get shot. The shop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as. I want our suit. It seemed to be the only way to dry docks. Where else are they? I'm so focused right now.
Oh shit. Really? Nice driving, guys. Just make sure you're dead. Oh no, <laughs> of course. Yeah, and I wonder why. Oh shit! They've all got super speed too. Oh no, that isn't gonna work on you, is it? Okay, well, let's go. Mano a mano. Okay, you're dead. Oh, nice. Shit! This is like they've actually got a really nice streak to their time dodge. Where is he? No idea. Dude, you can run, but you can't hide. Follow him. That was really cool. Shit. Will never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero. No, never. He hid that part of his life. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Alright, so... Shit, what was that? Caution grounds here are absolutely no entry beyond this point. Absolutely no entry. I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. Probably. What the hell? What is this? I've seen this in one of the gameplay demos. We get to see what Will was up to. And I just have some chocolate, so. Some words to describe it. Will was gone. 
He was all around me. This entire secret life he never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. He surrounded me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. It works. It works. Wow. Extended another year. Please, don't do this. Don't do this. So is the countermeasure. Set down this way. The story has gone so tense now. Who is this? I knew something went horribly wrong there. But it was scrambled. Who was that girl? Was that Bear? Yeah, let's ex let's escape from broken time. Shit. Where do I go? Will I just head out that way? Yeah, probably. Yeah. some kind of symbol it was overwhelming every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop the events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. Almost. Let's get. To, oh, wait, there's something there. Trespasser alert. Well, shit. Everybody knows about Amy. Uh. Anything down here? Nope. I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode of the the TV show. Because Liam Burke was getting chased. Hopefully he's okay. And he's a good guy. We can hope. something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful.
Willie and Joyce is dead. Our only shot of stopping this thing is Jack. He can lead us to the countermeasure, I still believe that. So the whole point of the game, well, for Beth's motive, for her, you know, her story, is to basically fix this crack in time, to f fix time from being destroyed, I guess. Am I headed the right way? Yeah, I am. And if we don't do this, time will end, and that will be terrible. What the hell happened? There's no use fighting. You killed him. I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending, and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan. You do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! So, given the very recent events of the Dry Dogs, I now see exactly what you mean. Clearly you are right about Burke's loyalties being more fickle than they appeared. Of course, you have plenty of unanswered questions about how it came to this. To begin with, I don't see why Burke would be involved with Joyce. There's no way he did it out of some kind of an altruistic urge. There has to be more to it. We know Burke didn't divert Joyce's transport, since whereabouts at that time are accounted for. So there has to be somebody else involved too. I'm looking into it. Beth. Beth is the one they need to look for, but I don't want her to get caught because she's a good... I was going to say good guy, but you know. She's on the good side of the team. As far as I'm aware, because I don't want... I don't want this to be a thing where Paul Severine's actually the good guy. And, you know, we all wanted this to destroy time, so Paul kind of diverted that. I doubt it's something like that. The story has its cliches, but they're fun, you know, they work. Okay, there's nothing over there. Charlie Wincott to Amy. F no, okay, it's about Amy Ferrero. <laughs> so, so does she? Does she do something like uh? Art, gender studies. I am sorry if I've offended anyone, but you know, I don't know which way she swings, but there's a family of us. You may want to make sure she stays on our side, though. Mm. Why couldn't he have just time stopped the helicopter? I don't know why. What do we have ourselves here? A little jumpy jumpy. No? 
Yeah, this is where I was going, but it doesn't want me to. Unless I'm going about it the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. I have to switch things up. Reverse time. Then go super fast before it all crashes down again. That was scary. That was terrifying. Oh, fuck. quickly zip through and let's wait for this to drop and zip I was trying I swear to god how long do I have to wait before I can time time dodge We time dodge. I should be able to do it right now. Finally, stutters were getting bad. He's shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse, but we both know it did. <laughs> Time stutters, please behave. Shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. 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 Need to get the hell out of here. Okay. This is nuts. Couldn't a little close, Jack. Yeah, where to? Any idea? Okay. Okay. Not okay. But it's like this. Back up. It's like a goddamn maze here. You can say that again. So I don't go up there? Right. But I should be able to. Okay, never mind. Apparently not. Yeah, I... I don't understand why he can't just... I'm not even going to ask questions. It's a bit it's a bit clunky and I can tell. Okay. Keep going. I swear to God, I'm just, I'm just trying to cross the road. Are you serious?
I swear to God, please. I have. Anyone else? Anyone else want a piece of me? Alright, so that's how the melee works. You time dodge into someone and he hits them with the butt of his gun. Beth had been on her way to me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Wait, where do I go? Can you please tell me? Okay. one in the back seat. Starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. Deal with it. Oh yeah, I turned off music, so... <laughs> Okay, so I guess I'll just cut the video here. Um, we're going to be hitting part three next, and I'll play that tomorrow. Uh, that's been part two. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please drop a like, a comment, and subscribe if you want more. If you have any feedback, since we are a uh, growing channel, don't hesitate to drop a comment. Even if it's really critical, even if it's hate, do what you want, man. Anyway, I've been Adam. I hope you have a great day. See ya.